Oke. Oke, oke, for a moment please. Oke, okay, bye. Guys. <laughs> aku sekarang sebentar lagi janjian sih sebenarnya. Uh, bersama dengan dua atlet golf yang masih muda tapi mereka sangat berprestasi di Dubai tentunya dan sekarang ini aku berada di kawasan uh, Creek Golf Course Dubai nah for your information anak-anak dua anak yang cantik-cantik ini ibunya berasal dari Indonesia dan uh, spesifiknya adalah Uh, berasal dari Lombok, Nusa Tenggara Barat. Nah, keseruannya seperti apa? Bincang-bincang aku bersama uh, mereka berdua. Yuk, ikutin yuk. Already with Salma and Fatia, so probably they are just confused which one Salma and which one Fatia. Yeah. Can you introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Salma and she's Fatia. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
first when you start, mm. what, what, what you feel? It's like uh, it was just it's for so hot fun. or for fun? No, it was just for fun. It wasn't really too much thought. Yeah. And just did you have about you? I started and I think I was, uh, like when I got introduced to the game exactly, I still remember it was right here. We were yeah. in one of the halls. Okay? Yeah. I was like almost seven years old. Okay. okay. So my dad's like, come with me because he wanted to go play golf. So yeah, I was yeah. like, I want to come with you. So I started seeing him playing yeah. and then I got interested and I like ran to my dad and I took the club. I was like, I want to try. Yeah. So he's like, you want to try the game? I'm like, yeah. And then it started from there. So okay. it started simple. My dad said, okay, let's let's see if she wants to play or not. So he put again group yes. classes. And after that, after I've been in it for a while, uh, Selwa got inside, also okay. the group class. And then it started from there. Oh, and then you're happy with that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's the advantage when you're playing golf? The advantages you can say first. first of all, uh, it tunes your your mindset and your fitness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so especially here, you know, it's very challenging to play in the heat and stuff uh, like that. So when you learn to be patient and play or stay calm in the heat and stuff like that, you know, it work, works on your mindset and your uh, builds your character yeah, yeah. and such. And as well, you know, it's, it's a sport, so it's playing it as well in the heat is very good for your fitness. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. Just like what she said, it's, mm. it's really great for fitness and uh, it really teaches you how to control your emotions. Yeah. Like I think, mm. I, I don't know, I just feel like people don't really, you know, focus, it's just nothing, you're just, yeah. you're just hitting. No, but there is something in it. As they say, golf is like life. Yeah. When the, like, uh, the downhills and the uphills, it, that's how you feel in the game. Yeah. That's literally the emotion. Yeah. You know, no matter what, how much you mess up, you just keep going. Yeah, like, that's yeah. actually what it is. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, your mom is playing golf too, or only she your dad? She, she's, the, she's the one who introduced to my dad. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, but she hasn't played for almost, I think, 30 years? Almost 20, 27, mm -hmm. something like this. Okay, uh, maybe even 25 years, something between that. She mm -hmm. introduced my dad uh, to golf in Indonesia. Okay. So they started playing together, and then after that, when they had us, they introduced us to the game. Okay, Salwa and uh, Fatia, what's your what championships um, that you have you uh, that you that have you joined? Like we won. Yeah. Uh, we won many here, like multiple par three competitions. We have um, like nearest to the pin, and we we won as you know in general places, and we also play some wagger competitions, mm -hmm. which is um, around three days competition, mm -hmm. eighteen holes. Mm -hmm. uh, and we play by gross score, so there is no, let's say, net. But sometimes there are some uh, tournaments where there are one day and there is mm -hmm. gross and there is net scores. Yeah. Mm. I myself haven't really won so much mm -hmm. yet, but like uh, I think I won one time uh, a net, mm -hmm. a net score mm -hmm. in uh, one of the golf clubs here in Dubai. So mm -hmm. I was really happy about that. But uh, I'm looking forward to still doing more. We won many as like team. Mm -hmm. And I won team some here like short game, uh -huh. part three, some and yeah. But she won some of the like the big uh, competitions. Wow, oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so you are you are junior uh, athletes, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so any challenge? Challenges? Yeah. Usually the weather. And the the heat. weather. <laughs> Challenges. And just the fact that you need to keep going like mm -hmm. to not get lazy um, and you know keep working harder if you want to achieve the dream and you know you want it to become a career mm -hmm. you need to know that you need to work harder more okay uh, yeah because sometimes time. you feel like you just don't want to uh, go do something or get up but you have to put your mind to it so mm -hmm. this is this is what golf what golf teaches it will test you like i said before so oh. that's what i love about it challenge <laughs> <laughs> i just saw your instagram before and then uh, you look so beautiful when you oh. put on your makeup on oh your face God. and uh, everything so can you tell tell us about what's your favorite for for make it is bold or uh, I like no I've never really liked uh, heavy heavy makeup you no, know yeah. the type you see in weddings yeah I was never that type but I don't know I like the type where you do some shapes and uh, different ah, type, you know? it's yeah. not something that's uh, very like ordinary yeah, you know, yeah. an artwork art yeah ah. and, uh, like ty that type of art because I see my face for example mm -hmm. as a paper because I, I draw yeah so I just like like to do that in uh, makeup yeah. That's why I love it, I love it. And how about you? Um, I'm not really into it, so yeah. like, I, I actually like rarely 
put it I only put very light makeup let's say when I'm going mm -hmm. to events or something and she does it for me yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> nice <laughs> So, next question. From when you first learned to how to play golf, um, till you first you first decided to take a part in the golf a championship, and then all Olymp Olympic, Olympiad or Olympics. Yeah, Olympics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then what was uh, Salva's uh, motivation? Okay. So first of all, my. Mo I, uh, I'm not sure like uh, which age exactly I started to enter the competitions, but I'm pretty sure it's around 12, 13, probably mm -hmm. like that. But uh, most of my motivation is that I really want to succeed in life. I feel like th there isn't any other option for me. Yep. So like, if I'm good at something and like I have interest in this thing, mm -hmm. this can take me to places and it can give me a career, then I, have, I should work very hard for it. And I really want to su succeed in my life. What did you feel for the first time for getting uh, your um, uh, me medal? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is, okay, this is the start and I need to, I need to do more. Ah. As, you know, every time I get, I said, I need to do better next time. I need to do more next time. Ah. Mm. It's going to take a lot more this mm. time. So every time you look at, uh, like at a medal or something, or when you achieve something, it's like, yeah. this, is, this is a start for something bigger. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you love that too. Yes. yes. <laughs> At a young age, as a golf artist, is there a challenge, challenges for uh, Salva and then Fatia? Yeah, I did. I did face some challenges actually. Um, I went. So most of my life, uh, I was here practicing for mm -hmm. uh, golf. In this uh, academy, I never really went to any other places, but we went uh, to. We tried for a short time in Jabal Ali with mm -hmm. uh, an amazing coach. His name is uh, Yasin. Mm -hmm. He's uh, so we tried with him first, and he was telling us every single thing that like that's supposed to be like correct or how we we should do it. You yeah. Know? And like uh, we did some extreme uh, exercises, so it was not easy. Like they would bring a mirror outside, mm -hmm. okay, and you would just stand. You can say for like almost 45 minutes, just repeating the same. Uh, posture and looking at the mirror that's what I did looking okay. at the mirror to make sure I get the point that he was trying to for example ex explain to me okay. so and another challenge is I was in a competition and uh, I did the wrong movement at a fast speed and I did not stretch properly so like I got a muscle uh, muscle uh, stretch like yeah. over stretch I think I don't know what they call it but like here over in my rib so oh. I didn't uh, like play for a year I ignored it first. I thought it was just normal because I I hit the wrong shot and then it started to hurt. It started to like, yes, like yes, this. Yes, yes. Then I ignored it. So the next day when we came here to the golf club, I couldn't move the I couldn't hit the short shot. It was hurting me a lot. And then after that, uh, we went. After that, my mom said maybe we should go to the doctor to see X X ray. And he said you have overstretch, so do not do any any sport for like 12 days. And mm -hmm. he gave me this patch. I don't know. You put and it burns like this, wow. so it can try to heal it like medicine to mm -hmm. put on the on the skin. So for one year. So right now um, it's been already almost may maybe you can say five five months, uh, mm -hmm. maybe four five months. I'm practicing again mm -hmm. after like practicing series again after what happened. So I actually uh, I I I in my opinion, even though I still have a lot to practice on, I feel like I got better. Mm -hmm. I, I understood my mistakes more than I ever did before after mm -hmm. it happened. So I don't mm -hmm. see it as something like it stopped me. It made me more uh, better. So after. break for a year for doing nothing for golf? No, oh. I, I didn't do. It. I would on, I would just do only putting because it's just like one hand or something. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. How, how about Salva? Yeah, mostly the challenge was that um, there were a lot of times where I'm practicing. I wasn't like, I didn't have uh, good endurance for the heat or like I was basically physically weak and it would 
you know, when the sun would strike, mm -hmm. I'd usually like um, get dizzy or I get headaches and stuff like that. So that was overall a real challenge and stuff. And then I, I had to go check um, about it with the doctor. It says because I have low iron and stuff like that. So I need to take pills and I'm feeling way better now. Mm -hmm. But o overall, you know, still while we're practicing outside and stuff like that, um, the physical and fitness uh, mm. health is very important to have. Oh. Yeah. But I'm doing better now. But now it's doing better? Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, um, can Salwa give any tips to, uh, during the process of learning to uh, how to play golf so that you can uh, become a uh, proficient quickly? Yeah, first of all, you need to just um, you know, you need to have a calm mindset, mm -hmm. you know, don't get too frustrated because frustration will just ruin your whole game. Mm -hmm. And also just be believe in yourself and, you know, stay determined to, um, you know, to have the will to succeed. You know, there's a will, there's a way. Mm -hmm. Th that's all the first, you know, the thing you need to think about the most. And uh, other than that, just keep, like, any time, even if you take a uh, a step to winning any just keep in your mind like uh, how I do it that yeah. I, I need to do better next yeah. time I need to do more next time yeah. even though you, you should be part of what you've done but you need to do more every yeah. time so that just keep that mindset yeah because sometimes uh, teenagers yeah. is like when they start for playing golf it's like hopeless when they feel so hard for starting yeah, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. yeah most important thing is actually don't rush because if yeah. you're seeking to rush like when you say a profession, a professional player or someone that's a really good uh, player, they took time yeah. to understand the mistakes yeah. that they did. It yeah. was not an all in a rush, and you don't discover the mistakes really fast. It takes yeah. you take it takes time to actually understand, for example, what's the mistake and how to fix it. Yeah. But if you focus and you actually like uh, try to understand and you try to help yourself, you you will like uh, be faster. But just do not. Uh, like rush really quickly. Oh, yes. Try to enjoy the, yeah. like you know, understand the process. That's I the best part. I have to focus and then yes. slowly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. So even though the um, uh, still you are both of you are still a junior, some uh, playing golf really well and then uh, often. Um, participate in golf competition mm. is it right yes yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> so salwa how many medals or uh, trophies have you uh, achieved uh, so far i didn't count but <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, um, there is like a whole kind of place where we put the medals and we mm. put the trophies um we'll, we'll show you as well there's in our house so you, you can see there are multiple medals and um, trophies the, there are many for let's say in the par threes there are mm -hmm. small ones but the, the ones for the big game the 18 holes there there are the ones on top and they're the bigger ones yeah. mm. so yeah there's quite like a decent amount of them and then uh, Fatia? not yet a lot actually because of especially the break yeah I, took, I didn't play any competitions but uh, I did won I did win at least uh, uh, I think one time actually net for the 18 holes, mm -hmm. but the rest was the uh, short, short game. Oh. So I still have a lot, but it's okay. But now you love for start again? Or? Yes, yeah. yes. No, it's okay. I, I, feel, I feel better playing now. Yeah. I just have to be careful uh, again so I don't injure myself. So your parents are so proud of both of you, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you going to say for your mom and for your dad or your family? my dad because they always push us to to succeed and most importantly to show determination and not uh, and not to take it easy like mm -hmm. nothing they mm -hmm. always says that nothing comes easy if you want to That's achieve life. something you have to you have to put your heart into it yeah and even if you don't feel like you want to yeah you want to do it like like we say motivation doesn't yeah, always yeah. strike you it's like determination and discipline yeah. that's the mm -hmm. most uh, most important thing and sometimes you know they they also they're like also motivation they motivate us to yeah. uh, do more when we don't feel for example right now to mm -hmm. do something they motivate us uh, more to do it so words can't describe <laughs> yeah. so obviously like they work so hard for us to afford 
Mm -hmm. Because you know it's not it's not really it's not easy at all. They work day and night um, just to afford for us all this. So uh, we can't pay them back. Yes. But w at, at least the, a way to return a little favor is that we, we succeed and work hard in what we do and yes. what they invested in us. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a beautiful heart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, okay guys, nice to meet you and thank you for your time. Thank you so much. I'm so happy because <laughs> you're happy for coming to really talk. Yes, I like it. Okay, thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for watching and then see you next episode. Bye bye. bye. And then sometimes for, uh, gold is good for maintain your balance yes. and your Fitness. emotion. Yes. Is this right? Yeah. Emotional control. Yes. Oh yeah. my god. If you get too angry, yes. you lose everything. To yes. You too you you care too much. Yes. If you care too less, it's also the same thing. Yeah. So you just have to you, you, the main important thing is to have a free mind. Yeah. That's the most important thing.